गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स आज हम ग्राफाइटा की क्लास एंथोसिडा टॉपसिडा के बारे में डिस्कस करेंगे अभी तक हमने ग्राफाइट्स की जनरल कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स क्लासिफिकेशन डिस्कस कर चुके हैं और ये लेक्चर एम एस सी सेम वन स्टूडेंट्स के लिए है एज यू ऑल वेरी वेल नो द ग्रुप ब्राफाइटा हैज बिन डिवाइडेड इन टू थ्री क्लासेस द हिपैटिकॉपसिडा द एंथोसिडा टॉपसिडा एंड द ब्रैपसिडा द मोस्ट प्रिमेटिव क्लास इज द हिपैटिकॉपसिडा एंड द मोस्ट एडवांस्ड क्लास अमंग द ब्राफाइट इज द ब्रैपसिडा स्टूडेंट्स ये जो एंथोसिडोटॉपसिडा है ये प्लेस्ड है इन बिटवीन द हिपैटिकॉपसिडा एंड द ब्रैपसिडा तो इसकी जो सिस्टमेटिक पोजीशन है ये हिपैटिकॉपसिडा और ब्रैपसिडा के बीच में है और ये क्लास हम कह सकते हैं कि इट इज़ अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग क्लास वेयर द group has a simple as well as advanced feature anthocytotol uh, anthocytotopsida ke members jo ki keval do genera se represent hote hain ek to anthocytos aur ek notothallus to iske jo members hain inka jo gametophyte hai jaise ki aapko malum hai the dominant generation in the bryophytes is the gametophytic generation and the sporophytic generation is partially dependent upon the gametophytic generation to ye jo group hai anthocytopsida iska jo gametophyte hai wo bahut simple hai dusri taraf iska jo sporophyte hai wo bahut advanced hai to the extent it is more advanced than the members of the brapsida so we can say that the anthocytotales shows a re remarkable association of simple gametophyte with a highly organized sporophyte now what are the characteristics of the gametophyte which show very simple as i said ki iska jo gametophyte hai bahut simple hai to kis tarah se ye simple hai iska jo structure hai wo resemble karta hai the first class hepaticopsida ke members se जिसमें हम देखते हैं कि प्लांट बॉडी इज अ थैलस लाइक एंड द थैलस इज विदाउट एनी डिस्टिंक्ट मिड रिप ऑन द वेंट्रल सरफेस ऑफ द थैलस ओनली स्मूथ वॉल्ड राइजॉइड्स आर प्रेजेंट एंड द ट्यूबिकुलेट राइजॉइड्स एंड स्केल्स आर एब्सेंट द इंटरनल स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द थैलस डज नॉट शो एनी डिफ्रेंसिएशन ऑफ द टिश्यूज एंड thallus has absence of air spores and air chambers each cell of the thallus has a single discoid chloroplast to so, iska jo gametophyte hai ye resemble kar raha hai hepaticopsida ke members se isme the thallus mein again nostra colonies present hoti hain जो कि शो अ सिम्बाटिक नेचर सेक्स ऑर्गेन्स आर सिंपली एम्बेडेड विद इन दी थैलस तो इसका जो गमीटोफाइट है वो रिजेंबल कर रहा है हिपैथिकॉपसिडा के मेंबर्स से ग्रुप एंथोसिडोटॉपसिडा का इसके जो एडवांस्ड स्पोरोफाइट है द करेक्टरिस्टिक्स विच शो एडवांस्ड नेचर ऑफ द स्पोरोफाइट इन्वॉल्व द स्पोरोगोनियम विच कंसिस ऑफ अ बल्बस फुट which is buried in the gametophytic tissue and an long cylindrical capsule the capsule grows up continuously with the help of an intercalary meristem meristem so ye jo intercalary meristem hai aapne hepaticopsida member mein dekha tha the sporophyte jo hai wo differentiate hota hai into foot seta and capsule to anthocytopsida ke members mein बल्बस फुट होता है 
सीटा रिप्लेस होता है बाय अ ग्रुप ऑफ मेरिस्मेटिक सेल्स और दी सेल्स आर रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर द लॉन्गिविटी ऑफ द स्पोरोफाइट या द और स्पोरोगोनिन द वॉल ऑफ द कैप्सूल इज मल्टीलेयर्ड विच कंसिस्ट ऑफ फोटोसिंथेटिक सेल्स विथ इंटरसेल्युलर स्पेसिस आउटोमोस्ट लेयर ऑफ द कैप्सूल हैज अ डिस्टिंक्ट एपिडेमल लेयर हैविंग स्टोमेटा द आर्किगोनिन गिव विच गिव राइज टू द स्पोर्स एंड इलेटर्स अराइज फ्रॉम द इनर लेयर ऑफ द एम्फीथिशियम हमने हिपैटिक ऑप्सिडा के मेम्बर्स में देखा था ये जो आर्ची गुनियम है वो अराइज होता है फ्रॉम द एंडोथिशियम हियर द स्पोर्स एंड द इलेटर्स आर अराइजिंग फ्रॉम द एंडोथिशियम the archegonium which gives rise to the spores and elaters they develop from the small portion of the sporogonin the spore mother cells alternate with the sterile cells so these are the structures which show that the group of genera that is the anthocerous and notothelous notothelous they are having a simple gametophyte and an advanced sporophyte the systematic position of notothallus is as such it belongs to the group bryophyta क्लास एंथोसिरोटॉपसिडा ऑर्डर एंथोसिरोटेल्स फैमिली नोटोथैलेसी एंड जीनस नोटोथैलस नो बिफोर डिस्कसिंग द जीनस नोटोथैलस लेट मी टेल यू अबाउट द करेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ फीचर्स विच शो एफिनिटीज विद अदर ग्रुप्स ऑफ ब्रैफाइट्स अभी हमने देखा इसका सिंपल गमिटोफाइट और एडवांस्ड स्पोरोफाइट एंथोसिरोटेल्स के मेंबर्स का या ग्रुप का तो व्हाट आर द फीचर्स विच आर कॉमन विथ द मेंबर्स ऑफ द हिपैटिक ऑप्सिडा एज आई हैव डिस्कस्ड अलियर द प्लांट बॉडी इज थैलस लाइक एंड द यूनिसेलुलर राइजर्ट्स आर प्रेजेंट एंड द ट्यूबिकुलेट राइजर्ट्स एंड स्केल्स आर एब्सेंट द थैलस एग्जिबिट्स एपिकल ग्रोथ and the structure of the mature sex organs is very much similar and the embedded push, position of the sex organs in the gametophytic tissue is similar to that of rickettsia family rickettsia of hepatic opsida the anthrozoids anthrozoids are biseliated the amphithecium and and the thesium are separated by the formation of periclinal walls and in this sporophyte the archesporium gives rise to spores and sterile cells now what are the features which are common with the brapsida or the masai the family sphagnesi which is the primitive family of the brapsida show features which are common with that of the anthocerotes what are the features the developmental stages of the embryo they resemble closely and the archesporium is formed from the inner layer of the amphithecium except in some species of nototherus the columella arises fully from the endothecium so the amphithecium gives rise to the spor- sporogenous tissue and the columella or the sterile cells arise from the endothecium now the features which show affinity with other group of plants jo anthocerotes hain ye affinity show karte hain with other group of plants for example algae se ye uh, common features hota hai inka the branching and the outline of the thallus aur 
Each cell of the thallus consists of a single chloroplast having a pyrenoid and thyrosoids are biciliated. Now some of the features which are common with the or show affinity with the teratophytes are the vegetative structure of thallus is similar to the prothallus of some of the teratophytes uh, like equisetum and ferns and the sex organs are embedded in the gametophyte and the mature archegonia are basically similar in structure. The sporogonia are highly developed and are having the photosynthetic tissue. The growth of the sporogonium continues for several months and may reach a several length of height. So we can say that the group anthocerotales is a distinct and synthetic group of plants. It is a complex genus having a simple gametophyte and a highly advanced sporophyte. Now we directly come to the genera which is prescribed in your syllabus which is the notothallus. Systematic position aap dekh rahe hain. Anthocerotopsida ka member hai notothallus. Order anthocerotales hai. Family is ki notothallus hai. Or genus notothallus. Ye diagram aapko external features ya external morphology show kar raha hai notothallus ki. Isse pehle ye notothallus kahan par milta hai. Distribution and habitat. The genus Notothallus is represented about by about the 12 species which are cosmopolitan and in India it is represented by 5 species namely the Notothallus levieri, Notothallus indica, Notothallus chaudhrai, Notothallus javanicus and Notothallus pendai. The more common species are the Notothallus Levieri and Indica. The genus has been reported from places like Masuri, Nainital, Dalhousie in India, Mount Abu and a few species of Nurothalus have also been collected from Rajasthan, Ajmer and the plants habitat wise they grow on moist shady places on soils, rocks, walls and floors of the old building. So they have a habitat wise they prefer a marshy habitat. Iske jo external features hain, the plant body is thallus like delicate and prostrate. It is bluish green in structure or in some species it may be yellowish green. And we can see dark round areas of nostoc no colonies inside the on the dorsal surface of the thallus and on the ventral surface of the thallus we can see only smooth walled rhizoids as I have said the tuberculated rhizoids and scales are absent from this gen genus and the smooth walled rhizoids they have a function to fix the plants to the substratum. So this is the external morphology, thallus like plant body and having the sporogonium, thallus and the on the ventral side only the smooth wall rhizoids are present. Now we come to the internal structure of the genus Notothallus. And internally the thallus is very little differentiated and all the cells are same and the cells of the epidermis are comparatively smaller. The upper epidermis and underlying cells contain a single large chloroplast with a, each cell has having a pyrenoid 
like that of anthocytosis and the rhizoids they arise from the lower epidermis the mucilage cavities containing nostoc are frequently found in the thallus so this is the internal structure of the thallus having an upper epidermis and a lower epidermis in cavitated the nostoc algae in the mucilage cavity and the rhizoids having only the smooth walled rhizoids now what is the reproduction which is common in the group anthocytopsida it is having the growth vegetative reproduction and the sexual reproduction notothallus reproduces vegetative by means of the tubers which are covered with dense rhizoids they remain buried in the soil and each rhizoid is capable of producing a new thallus with the advent of the favorable conditions now sexual reproduction the genus notothallus may be monoecious or it may be dioecious monoecious when both the sex organs are present in the same thallus and dioecious when the sex organs are represented in two distinct thallus the anthridia this is the diagram of the anthridium you can see the anthridia are formed near the apex of the lobe and develop endogenously which is common uh, to that of the anthocytos and there there may be three or four anthridia in each chamber the development pattern is similar to that of anthocytos so anthocytos ka jo development hai anthridium ka wo resemble kar uh, uh, notothallus se resemble kar raha hai and the two or three anthridia are found in the anthridial chamber now the archegonium it arises from the apical cells of the lobe near the margin and again the course of development or um, the development of the archegonium is similar to that of anthocytos so बेसिकली मैंने जो डेवलपमेंट आपको बताया है इन जनरल करेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ द ब्राफाइट्स में द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ द एंथ्रीडियम एंड डेवलपमेंट ऑफ द आर्कीगोनियम इट इज बेसिकली सिमिलर इन ऑल द ग्रुप्स विद स्लाइट डिफरेंस इन ईच मेंबर सो द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ आर्कीगोनियम आर्कीगोनियम इज अ फ्लैश शेप स्ट्रक्चर हैविंग अ सोल एंड वेंटर एंड एन elongated neck and the neck has the cover cell the neck canal cells and the venter has the venter canal cell and the egg now we come to the sporophyte or the sporophytic generation of the notothallus the sporophyte after fertilization the zygote after fertilization gives rise to the embryo and the embryo further divides into the sporophyte if you see the structure of the mature sporophyte or the sporogonium the figure a and b a is the young sporogonium and b is the mature sporogonium of an nototherus so the structure of this sporogonium it develops horizontally along the margin of the thallus between the lobes and it is 2 to 3 mm long and tapers at both the ends it consists of a triangular foot a mesentomic zone and a cylindrical capsule the capsule wall is four cell thick and there is no stomata in the wall which are 
present in the anthocytos, but in neurothalus, the capsule wall does not have stomata. A row of much thick walled cells run the entire length of the capsule and meet at the apex. The spores are black due to dark pigments and the entire capsule remains completely enclosed inside the membranous involucer. The capsule is enclosed within the involucer. So this is the structure of this porogonium. The spores are present, elators and the capsule wall and finally the the program is having the involucer and it is having the bulbous foot and an intermediate meristematic zone which is responsible for the continuous division of the archisporeal tissue. You can see in the same capsule all the stages of the development of the archisporeal tissues are present. Clear? So now what is the development of the or the stages of development of the sporophyte? Now, please refer to these figures. This is the Notothalus indica, which is representing the various stages in the development of the sporogonium. After fertilization, the zygote enlarges in size and covers the entire space of winter. The cells of the upper tier divide by a transverse wall and form a three-tiered embryo of which the uppermost tier contributes to the capsule and the meristematic zone but the lowermost tier forms the foot only. A periclinal division occurs in the uppermost tier to give rise to an outer amphithecium and, a, and an inner endothecium. Now the archiporium tissue gives rise to the spores and irritors and the whole endothecium develops into the columella. The spore mother cells divide meiotically to form the haploid spores and in early stages of development, the cells of the capsule wall contain a single chloroplast and pyrenoid body. On maturity, the chloroplast and pyrenoids are replaced by dark brown pigments. The dehiscence of the how these spores come out, the capsule splits open with the hygroscopic elitus and the capsule dehisces by two or four valves and the spores they are come out they come out and the spores they represent the first cell generation of the gametophytic and the spore wall consists of the two layers a thick exine and a thin entine and the spores germinate to form the exine ruptures and several pieces into several pieces and remains attached to the intent and the intent does not form a germ tube but the whole spore content divides by a transverse wall or vertical wall and the further division ultimately gives rise to the the new thallus of the notothallus and the rhizoids they arise quite late and are not separated by septum a feature which is different from that of the anthocyros so these are the stages of development of the sporophyte the zygote transverse division then vertical division and the upper tier gives rise to the amphithecium outer amphithecium and inner endothecium. The amphithecium gives rise to the outer 
ball and the inner wall and the inner wall gives rise to the archesporeal uh, tissue which uh, develops into the spores and the pseudo -elitus. Now what is the biological significance of the group anthocytotales? This group is having a great biological significance. We have studied that it has the most simplified gametophyte and on the other hand a highly elaborated and advanced sporophyte. The sporophyte which shows evolutionary tendencies in the line of biological process. So coming to the sporophyte, we can say that affinity show kar raha hai aur biological significance iska ye hai ki ye jo group hai ye physiological independence show karta hai the sporogonium iska dekhte hain it has complex photosynthetic systems with functional stomata it has a continuous intercalary growth due to the presence of intercalary meristematic zone and it due to which the sporophyte has a continuous growth of the sporophyte it begins the beginning of the such characters in the sporophyte conducting region the presence of well developed columella a central sterile portion which develops from the central endothelium suggests the beginning of the formation of conducting region so the conducting tissue hai columella so ye beginning suggest karta hai uh, characteristics of the higher members now the increased amount of sterile tissue coming to this the major portion of the group sporogonium consists of the sterile tissues such as foot capsule wall columella and pseudolaters and the increased amount of sterile tissue therefore suggests the beginning of formation of sporophytic plant as in higher plants. <coughs> now the outward shifting of sporogenous tissue. We had seen that the group of anthocytopsida, the entire endothelium is covered, converted into the sterile columella. Whereas in the members of hepatic, hepatic opsida, we have seen the endothelium gives rise to the sporogenous tissue. Whereas in the anthocytopsida, the spores are formed from the amphithelium, which represent the initial stage of formation of superficial sporangia. So the sporogenous tissue is shifted from the endothelium to the amphithelium, and there is reduction in the sporogenous tissue the amount of sporogenous tissue is reduced and which is considered as an advanced character which is present in the higher plants thus the reduction in the sporogenous tissue suggests the initial stage to produce limited number of spores now tendency towards formation of sporangia the alternate arrangement of spore mother cells and sterile cells in the sporogonium suggests the beginning of the formation of sporangia. So these are some of the characteristics by which we can say the group anthocytopsida has a biological significance and it is a synthetic group or a complex group having characteristics of a simple gametophyte and a highly advanced sporophyte. So students, the development, uh, you should be knowing the characteristics of anthocytos as well. Basically, dono similar hain, anthocytos and notothallus. Because you have syllabus mein notothallus is, uh, uh, prescribed, but in anthocytos, ko bhi, you should be knowing the characteristics of the genus Anthocytos as well. So this is all for now. Thank you.